here, and today we're going to be learning about how to cool down your iMac when it gets really hot. So to start out, I am using a iMac 21 and a half inch um, Intel Core i3. It's the 2010 model. And I was noticing the other day when I was upstairs, uh, my iMac was really, really hot. And when I touched it, like the back or the top left corner, the thing felt like it just came off the stove. And it was really, really scary. So I found this great product called SMC Fan Control, specifically 2.3. Essentially what this does is it has um, control over your motherboard and all your fans inside your computer and it lets you control them. Really, really awesome. So first thing you want to do is go to the website. I'll post a link in the description called uh, I think MacUpdate.com and click on download. Then what's going to happen is you're going to bring it to your desktop. And then you're going to open this up. And if you have any Mac experience at all, you click this, drag it to your applications. Really simple. Now you're going to go to, I'm going to go to Launchpad because I'm on Lion. Click on it. And what's going to happen is uh, it may not go here, you know, to your little dock. Or what's that called? You know finder window or something. I don't know. Anyway, so it may ask you for a setup. I'm not necessarily sure on that. I don't think mine did. But anyways, it goes on here and uh, what you want to do is you want to click on preference. So here you can see you can control your optical drive. So that's the fan in your disk drive. HDD, which is your hard drive or your memory is at. And you could control the fan in that. And then CPU. CPU is very important because that's your processor. I think it's really sneaking hot. And if you turn the fan up on that, it will get a lot cooler. Um, you can set the menu bar. So, oh, that's what it's called. Menu bar. Anyway, so you can click this and determine if it you want it to say temperature only, icon only, fan speed. Who wants a fan speed? Who cares about RPM? You can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. Check updates on startup. Why not? And then auto start. SMC fan control after login. I do that because... Because I always want to know the temperature of my Mac. Uh, don't worry about this stuff. That's only for if you're on like a laptop or a MacBook or something like that. So just, you know, if, you, if you're on a MacBook, go ahead, you know, determine that. But I'm on an iMac and I'm plugged in, so I don't have to worry. Um, menu, if you just determine what you're on. I want to know the temperature of my CPU. I don't really care about my hard drive or optical. Although it is important to keep those nice and cool because you don't want your com computer heating up, do you? No. So once you save these settings, um, you can cre create custom presets. So you don't have to go to preferences and keep dragging and stuff. So um, here's default, which is at the lowest, which is, I guess, good if you have a nice, cool house. Like medium, um, it's halfway. And the maximum. This thing gets loud when it's on maximum. It sounds like an old e-machine in the late, early 2000s when it thing is on. It's really, it's really loud. So... Um, I'm going to go on default here, and you don't have to go to the preferences to determine your preset. So I'm going to click save. Now it's 142. I don't necessarily uh, trust the temperature gauge in the Mac because it jumps like all the time. Like one second it's 130, and it's just got to 140. So that's that's a lot. So um, I don't really trust that, but it's, it's an estimate. So we're going to go to medium, and I, I'm going to put the mic up to the vent in my iMac to hear that there is no sound currently. So as you can hear, there's not, not a whole lot of sound, so I'm going to turn it on medium. I'll just wait for it to start up, almost. I'll put the mic up. So you can't you can't really hear it that much either. That's why medium's kind of probably the best. If I turn on maximum, it gets pretty loud. You may not be able to hear it on the mic, but trust me, it it gets pretty loud. Hold on, here we go. So I don't know if you can hear that necessarily or not, but it's pretty loud. So I'm gonna turn it back to uh, let's go medium. So that's not all you can you can also you can also change the color of that. So if you want the preset on maximum to be like blue, like you know it's cooling down, go and do that medium red, default black. I just keep it all black. Um, but I can show you. you know, let's see, blue for medium or you know let's go red. Red's cool. Save. And then you can see it just went to red. Close this out. So anyways, guys. Um, 
it's a great product um, or application, I should say. It does support Lion. Uh, I think, yeah, it just says right here, 10.4 or later. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's very, very simple to use. It's awesome. It cools down your Mac when it's, you know, heated. Uh, I got to one, I think 50. I was scared. That thing, it was really hot. And I got this and it cooled it like down to like 120 in a matter of sec, like a couple minutes. Um, although the loud speed or the noise is very loud, it is still very, very, uh, you know, just reliable in my opinion. You know, I it cooled it down a lot then. I felt it, and it was really cool. So, um, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. This is Chasen from Chasen's Tech, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe.